So I just wanted to talk about which all talk which all about <laughs> the in-season tourney and the rule changes that have been announced for the NBA. And when the NBA first mentioned an in-season tournament, which was like halfway through this season, I I'm, I, I'm pretty sure maybe even at the start of the season, I uh, was very against it. I was thinking like, why? And this is stupid and crazy or both. And with more news coming out and now we have the full story pretty much. Uh, we have, you know, the whole new... Uh, yeah, okay. Um, I'm actually very, you know, pro this tournament so far right now and its implementation. It will start on November 3rd with... With it going on for about a month, with the culmination culmination in the finals on December 9th in Las Vegas, so they have more, you know, chances to promote there in Las Vegas, and you know, I I expect there to be a Las Vegas team uh, sooner than later. That's for sure, and I think we all uh, who follow the NBA religiously <laughs> uh, expect there will be an expansion, and that one of those teams will go to Vegas, the Las Vegas. And, oh, of course, this is a great testing ground in a way. And teams are drawn randomly into groups and the games will be counted towards the regular season. Here you go, you can see the groups. There is not much to debate so far yet about the groups and everything. We'll do that as we get closer to the tourney in November. And there will be tournament nights from what I, you know, read. It's gonna be every Tuesday and Friday, except for uh, the Americans have... I'm not sure what it is actually, but they have a holiday on the 7th or yeah, election day. I'm pretty sure it is, but uh, I'm going to fact, fact check and uh, edit this out if it's not true. And they will play every Tuesday and Friday, which will be tourney games. And we will have every team playing two games at home and two games on the road. Eight teams will advance into the knockouts, which will be single eliminations, which is awesome. And the, you know, it will be the winners of every group plus the two second best teams, the two best second teams <laughs> record wise. And there will be, you know, the score difference and everything uh, counting towards tiebreakers if there are any tiebreakers. And they will be playing for the NBA Cup and prize money. So, yeah. And I think it's also great that it will not mesh with the NFL with Tuesday and Fridays because, of course, the NFL is. Uh, the NFL. Yeah, of course, it's about ratings and the NFL has the best ratings in the USA. And I'm also happy because I love watching both. So it's great that it will not, you know, mix in together. And um, yeah, that pretty much means we'll have more games that the teams should want to try a little harder for. Even though, of course, it's probably not going to be like playoff atmosphere. It should be the closest thing to it in a way. And of course... Uh, it should mean that it will be early in the season, of course. It should mean the teams will want to do something with it. And a lot of people are mentioning that, you know, it could help the younger teams play in that playoff atmosphere, which, of course, would be great for teams like Orlando, Houston, San Antonio, um, and some other teams. I wouldn't count Indiana into that, but they are a young team. But you get the point, of course, and etc. Uh, which is always a good thing. I want to see these young players in these intense, more intense situations, especially if it will be single elimination games. And hey, if the teams do not try, not much you can do. They are trying at least to make some something more interesting early on in the season. Even though I would have loved this maybe after the All-Star break, but that would be too close to the playoffs. Before the All-Star break would still be too close to the playoffs. And... Uh, may maybe, maybe it would be better, but also there will be Super Bowl and stuff, so yeah. Um, it's understandable why it's in November until the first week of December. And what I, what I am curious about is how the games will be scheduled. If, you know, teams play on... I, I assume every team won't play, you know, Tuesday, Friday, but... We'll see how the schedule is. We'll have to wait for that. But I could see what I could see really happening is that the older teams, for example, my Warriors, uh, will sit out the game before that, right? If you play on Tuesday and you have a game on, I don't know, Sunday, Monday, probably not Monday, but you have a game on Sunday, for example, right? The, I could see the Warriors sitting that game out and just, you know, going a little harder on the tournament night because, hey, it's money. 
and why not be the first winner at the same time, right? And I could see that happening. We'll see how the schedule looks and works. That you know is my theory right now. But maybe the schedule will be completely different, and I'm just spitballing nonsense onto you. <laughs> uh, so there's that. And you will have an MVP of the tourney also, so hey, you can push more agendas with your favorite players if they get it. So I am really cautiously optimistic and excited about this in-season tourney, it could add some spice into the regular season. And then we have some new rule changes, which is the flopping penalty, one free throw for the other team if the referees, you know, stop play for a flop. And of course it's gonna be hard it's gonna be hard um we will see how this goes because in the summer league it's been a little hit or miss it's also really hard to determine when a guy flops or not because you know sometimes you get hit and you have a, re a reaction that is maybe not appropriate for the hit quote unquote but it's still you know your appropriate reaction if you get what i'm saying it's it's gonna be intriguing to see how they will call it and I think the Aaron Fox talked about it, how it's gonna be confusing. We'll see, we'll see. I'm excited to see this try it out. Of course, it happens when Chris Paul is going to the Warriors. <laughs> um, so, there's that. Uh, we'll see how the players get around this. We have to wait and see how it looks in the NBA, but I think this could work well. And if it doesn't, hey, you could also remove it next year. And the other change is just great. You have a challenge change challenge change <laughs> if you have a su successful challenge you will get another you will get rewarded another one which is how it should be it makes complete sense and it does not make you wait till the end of games to use them so that is great props for that we will see how it adjusts if you know they will be more uh, I think it will help when there are momentum swings, right? When you have a momentum call, you can call it in the third quarter or even in the second quarter and you would still have the next one if you get it right. It's still gonna be a gamble in a way, but I think it's it's great. I think it's great. That's for sure. And yeah, that's it. I'm really excited about these things, man. It should be better for the NBA, in my opinion. What do you all think? Let me know in the community tab, in the polls. I'll put up some polls about it and here in the comment section if you want. If you don't, that's also okay. <laughs> Be safe, kind to yourselves, guys. And to others, choose love, baby. And I'll see you all with some other videos.